June, 1893. The war in the Caribbean rages between the United States and Spain. The once great Spanish Navy falters under the might of the new U.S. fleet. Technological advancements and profit has been the side effect of this war as smaller countries realize the benefits of becoming allies with the U.S. They buy the powerfully designed ships for their own uses, built by the U.S., for huge profits. But will these technological advancements and huge profits be enough to remove Spain from the Caribbean? What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. My name is Evil One, and we can find ourselves here in the Caribbean. We have the battleship Oregon and the torpedo boat Anacostia. Costa? Going up against a large Spanish fleet. I was just kind of casually playing here, and I don't know where this fleet came from. I thought I pretty much kicked every Spanish ship out of the Caribbean. And all of a sudden, I get this notification that this rather large fleet has stumbled upon my battleship Oregon with a torpedo boat that I just built. I would like to take a look at a few of the tabs across here and show you kind of what the torpedo boat looks like and a couple of the other ships that we built. But we have this big fight, so let's get this fight underway. Hopefully we don't lose any ships. Right, here we are. So this is an evil class battleship with our new stilettos type uh, torpedo boat. Here we go, we got a bunch of ships out there. Normally I would send the torpedo boat in, in nice and close to launch a torpedo and get out of there. Run down stragglers, that sort of thing. But I'm actually gonna keep him back. Just because I think rushing in there with a torpedo boat would be suicide. I have not lost a ship since the last episode and I have engaged the Spanish in several battles. I've taken a lot of damage, but I have not yet lost another ship. We know what we're aiming at over here. Let's go take a look. We're aiming at this guy here. Looks to be a stationary cruiser of some type. Can't tell if those are armored cruisers or light cruisers. Keep them at arm's length as much as we can. I have it set the auto right now for the ammo type, just because I really don't know what I'm shooting at. Uh, he's shooting AP rounds. If we actually do get lucky and score a hit, it'll just punch right through if they don't have armor. But if they are armored, it might actually do a little damage. I was just moving these two ships from another port across the Caribbean to join in a naval invasion fleet when they got jumped by this entire large Spanish fleet that just came out of nowhere. Kind of mind-boggling on speed up time here. What I'm doing now is I want to keep them kind of away from us. I'd rather pick them off at a distance, so I'm going to try and just kind of snake my way back and forth as they drive toward me. I want to try and keep my broadside to them as much as I possibly can. Ship does slow down quite a bit in the turn. Our little torpedo boat opened up with his 4.9 inch gun. He is shooting HE rounds. That is a light cruiser. He has no armor at all. We're going to focus our fire on him. We're going to switch these to HE. No, really. I want you to focus your fire onto him. Everything. That might be a torpedo boat. Yeah, that's a torpedo boat. So far, no hits on either side. Okay, stop shooting at that other target. Focus all your fire right here. I don't know how many times I gotta click. All weapons, right click. There you go, shooting at that target again. Why? That was a close one. There we go. Finally got a good hit on there. Hit him for 143 damage. Got a belt penetration. We're gonna zigzag again. Try to get some more distance. Oh, that'd be so nice if one of those would hit. And we got some flooding. Hit him pretty good. 1280 damage. The main belt, we've got a little bit of over penetration on it. Engines are out. It's going to be a long fight. Ooh, that hurt. Got a belt penetration from a 7.6 inch from the heavy cruiser. 520 damage. Got some flooding, got some fire. We might lose this battleship, but I'm not going down without a fight. Switch targets. Again, no armor at all. We'll keep on the HE. Oh, we got a torpedo hit, looks like. Somebody launched a torpedo. I don't think that was our torpedo. Nice. I can't take all the credit for that one. I, I think somebody launched a torpedo and it got in the way. I did see the little triangle thing pop up earlier. But we, were, we, we have been out of torpedo range, so not sure why. There we go. 
some good hits. All right, I'm sending the Anacosta in. Do a torpedo run. Do a torpedo run on this guy here. Kind of on the flank of their fleet. I feel a little bit more confident and comfortable doing this. Nice. Good hits. Good hits. Good hits. Good hits. Yes. Good hits. Good hits. All right. We're going to go for this guy here then. Not sure what my battleship is shooting at right now. I'm not focused on my battleship. We're about to find out though. Yeah, we're shooting at this guy here too. Battleship. Come on, turn. Get in there. I want to catch him just on the edge of our zone. We'll turn away. They have torpedoes too. And it looks like they just launched one. I don't see it. We just launched ours. I heard it. There it is. Turn away. Looks like it's going to be on. Boom. Good hit. All right, get out of there. Anacosta, get out of there. All right, we're going to turn. Turn the battleship. We'll kind of head out that direction and keep the fleet at arm's length. Keep working over this uh, this little light cruiser right here. Good hits. All right. Next target. Let's take out this light cruiser. It's wounded. I think we can take him out. This one's steaming for us. We have to reload this torpedo tube on the Anacosta. We want to get some distance, get that done, and we'll come back in and maybe take out another straggler that's kind of off to the side. Pick them off from the sides as best we can. Dwindle the fleet down. Hopefully, we might actually win this. That would be awesome. Torpedo boat just kind of came out of nowhere. It's been just hiding in that fog. The ship is not doing well. It won't take very much more to sink it, but we actually have to hit it in order to sink it. They are repairing. Thinking about switching targets, but I kind of want to just end this one and then switch targets. She is just hanging on for dear everything. We've got a heavy list. And she's still very dangerous. Still, oh, there we go. Now she's sinking. All right, switch targets. Right, Anacosta, these torpedo boats are getting a little close to me. Torpedo boats are a huge threat to our battleship. Battleship is so slow. Cannot get out of the way of torpedoes very easily. We're actually going to switch targets start engaging that torpedo boat try to sink him before he gets to us but i'm gonna send the anacosta up and try and engage him as well or at least give him something else to shoot at we're gonna turn away bring the anacosta up the rest of the fleet is over there out of the way there we go take out those torpedo boats it's a battleship hitting them how are we doing on that torpedo oh we are reloaded that torpedo just now okay we're gonna come in and we're gonna launch that torpedo at the Carry Dad, Kura Dad. Okay, we've got one of the torpedo boats down. This feels like a suicide mission. Come on, Acosta. And Acosta. Ooh. That hurt. Engine is down. Torpedo launched. Another torpedo there. We're way too close. Ooh, 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 ooh. Launch your tor torpedo. Please launch your torpedo. I think we're too close for the torpedo now, but... I think we just lost this torpedo boat. We launched it. Boom, we hit it. <laughs> okay, get out of there. Go, go, go. <laughs> if you can, I, th I don't think we're, I think we lost this torpedo boat. It's he fl heavily flooding. But it did get his torpedo off, and it did cause a lot of damage to this light cruiser. Good job. All right, we're down the one. Turn back in. Give him a good broadside. Try to sink this torpedo boat first. Come back and mop up this uh, little light cruiser right there. Torpedo did a lot of damage. It's the first ship, first boat that I've lost uh, since the last episode. Like I say, I've been in several engagements already. We will take a look at our stats uh, as soon as this battle is over. All right. That light cruiser is now sinking. Succumb to its injuries. I was talking about the power of those little torpedo boats. It is actually quite strong. They're fast. If the torpedo will hit, if the torpedo will actually detonate, it can do a lot of damage to a big capital ship. That's why I'm focusing my fire right here on this little torpedo boat because he's racing in. We need to get some speed up here. Straight now a little bit. We've got this heavy cruiser over here as well. So we're hopefully sink him. Focus fire here. 
The rest of the fleet is out there. We can't see them now because of their smoke machines. This little torpedo boat is not doing well at all. That has a very small target to hit in rolling seas. There we go. Got some flooding on it. It's low fuel, so it shouldn't be moving too horribly fast. And it's done. All right. Switch fire. Oh, I want this guy dead. This is a much more larger of a threat than this one back here. We're going to angle a little bit more this way, and we're going to speed up some time. I just realized, though, that that is a, a heavy cruiser, so we need to actually check its armor. And there we see most armor we have to penetrate there is 5.4 inches, about 5.5 and inches, and most of it's around 2 to 3 inches. So our 5-inch guns here at what that distance is, 3 kilometers. Our 5 inch guns at 3 kilometers will punch through with HE uh, 1.5 inches. Our 10 inch will punch through with HE uh, 3.9 inches. So we are going to switch our 5 inch guns over, over to armor piercing. And we're going to keep our 10 inch guns at HE. This guy here. No, other way around. There we go. We want these smaller guns being able to punch through that, that armor that they have. Main belt armor now says 7.8 inches. We might switch it all. Well, we'll see how we do here. If we start getting a lot of over penetrations or ricochets, things like that, then we'll switch up our ammo type. They are close. It says armor is 0 to 8 inches. We got a 46% chance of penetrating at this angle. That's pretty good. All right. I really need you to focus on one ship at a time. Please. Ooh, destroyed a casemate gun. Fantastic. There we go. Got some good hits. There's some more. Oh, we're getting some hits. It's not causing a lot of damage. We're actually going to angle in a little bit. Try and bring up these front mount guns. It's kind of getting, getting kind of close to its angle here. Come on, Oregon. All right, we're switching up our target. Hopefully, I don't regret that. If I can get less guns shooting at me, maybe that would be a good thing. We got fire broke out. Hopefully, they can get that under, under control. No accuracy at all. We got 21% accuracy on the 5-inch guns. 10% accuracy on the 2-inch guns. As we kind of bring them around to our stern, we're going to turn starboard. Kind of do that big circle thing around again. There we go. Good hits. We are not doing well either. We are on fire. We have slowed down to 17 knots. There we go. We're getting good, more good hits. More good hits. They're still very much afloat. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start making our turn. We're going to slow way down when this happens. I don't think there's an easy way of knowing exactly our knots. So that's what it's set to. I don't think it's telling us our, our actual speed. Oops. Switch targets. There we go. That's a good hit. Does have some flooding. Still very much afloat, but it is sinking. Go 14%, 10%. Come on. There we go. There we go. Good flooding. Good flooding. Oh, come on. Get it under the waves. 2%. You're going goodbye. All right. Now we can switch this to HE again. Focus our fire on a different ship. And just let, let him choose his ships now. Because we are coming up to this guy as well. He is dead in the water over here. Thinking about kind of sailing this way. Well, no, he's dead in the water. He's not going anywhere. Let's focus our fire here. Then we can mop him up. I don't want any of these guys to escape. We're going to take out this entire fleet. It wants me to end the battle. We still got 2 hours and 15 minutes left of this thing. And I am not going away. We do have some structural damage. Our flotation, we have a little bit of flooding. But other than that, we're doing quite well. Good hits. Very good hits. That was devastating to that ship. They got some massive flooding going on. Hopefully it's, uh, it's enough flooding that it will actually sink. Engines are out. Still very dangerous though. Still shooting its uh, 6.3 inch guns at me. All the engines are out now. That ship is dead in the water. Taking on water. Would like for it to take on water a little faster. There we go. This ship has got to be going down. Let's speed up time just a little bit here. Sinking, there we go. All right, let's head back to our ship. See where we're at here. We're actually going to angle off that way. See, it's wanting to shoot at this ship here. That's still very much a danger. I realize we're getting that close to it. Well, if we take it out, kind of split, shoot the gap here, split them in half. We haven't won yet, but it looks like we are going to win this naval engagement. This ship is going down. Goodbye. All right. And we're down to two. Oh, good hits. Good hits. I just saw that. What was that? That was a two-inch. Hit his main belt for 902. A two-inch gun did that. Very nice. Got some massive flooding going on here. 12%, 10%, 6, and you're going to be gone. Two, one, goodbye. And we're down to one. Get my 
angle steered back here. I'm gonna cut it in kind of close. Definitely don't want to get too close to these ships. They are equipped with torpedoes, but I think we're okay. There's the ring there um, for some flooding. Still very much a threat. Hopefully we can get them down before they cause the Oregon too much damage. We will see. I got a feeling we will, but I also do not want to be in his torpedo range. And there we go. We got the, am the ammo detonation. This ship is going to be dead because an internal explosion inside the ship is letting in tons of amounts of seawater, and we will send it to the bottom. Well, there we have it, folks. They sent an entire fleet up against one of our battleships, escorted by a torpedo boat, and we were victorious. Here we go. One heavy cruiser and eight light cruisers and three torpedo boats went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of our battleships and one of our torpedo boats. Unfortunately, we did lose the Anacosta, but we proved victorious in the end, awarding us 15,157 victory points. They did get a couple for sinking our smallest little boat. We only lost 25 people to their nearly 2,000 people. And we, of course, sunk 12 of their ships. There's the stats. Let's exit. Well, there we go. We lost three transport ships in the region. The Ottoman Empire would like one of our Duluth-class uh, light cruisers for 118,000 or 118% profit. That's hard to say no to. Uh, to improve this, have failed. The Chinese is trying to improve its relationship with us. All right. So now let's take a look. Where are we? We have a little light cruiser coming up. He was over here in Balboa, and I sent him around uh, South America to join the fight in the Caribbean. I do have some other ships in Balboa now. We have one fleet here. This is the our kind of our main fleet. Four battleships, a whole bunch of light light cruisers, including the battleship Evil. We also have a fleet here. We got three battleships here and a couple of uh, light cruisers. And this is the battleship Oregon. Now it is running a little low on on ammo. We got plenty of fuel, but um, I think we're going to leave them out there. Uh, he's going to repair. So I did learn, in order to invade a region, we must have at least 100,000 tons of whoop-ass in the sea. So if we hover over the Caribbean right here, we can see we are at 97,000 tons. I'm hoping that is the tonnage that is actually that we actually need, because I would definitely like to uh, take Cuba as our own region. So let's go check out our politics now. We are no longer on the bottom of the list. If I can grab my... There we go. We are kind of in the middle. Of course, Spain is at the bottom. Our only thing that we have so far is the peace treaty. We are not offering peace. So here we are. Uh, our GDP is um, $19 billion. We have 47 ships, 11 battleships, 21 cruisers, and 15 torpedo boats. Talk more about that here in a little bit. Our relationship with the British Empire is looking really good. Better with France. Germany, not so great. The Russians are doing pretty good with us. Italy, they started poking me, and I don't understand why. They were they were uh, um, increasing the tensions quite a bit, and I don't really understand why. The Hungarians, kind of the same deal. But they're pissing everybody off, so it's not not too surprising. Japan, surprisingly is on good relationships with us. Of course, we are at war with the Spanish Empire. And China, uh, we are not so happy with. Of course, there are our allies. We have a whole bunch of allies now. And they, of course, all want ships. Thank you to, for all the wonderful advice I've been getting over at Discord and on the comments below on how to deal with some of these, including building export yachts. I just read that comment today. I haven't actually built one yet, but I don't think I need to, but I, I completely understand the reasoning behind it. We'll talk about that here in just one minute. Let's take a look at our finances here. Per month, we are losing $1.4 million, but we do have a sizable pool of $137 million. That's because I am building a lot of ships for other people. I did have to lower down our tech budget quite a bit because we were hemorrhaging money. I think we were down to about 15000 or 15 million, excuse me, in our naval fund pool, and we were losing money at the rapid rate. We can go ahead and scroll down. We did actually complete one of our uh, shipyard sizes. We are on our second sizing upgrade. And as you can see down here, we are losing $104 million in our expenses. 
research. We got hole protection. We are looking at a double bottom hole design in 25 months. Our budget is way down on research right now. Trying and save a little bit of money. Of course, that is going to help us with uh, torpedo damage and our flooding. We are researching some sort of weird new uh, destroyer design. We don't know exactly what that looks like yet. And our engines, we are looking at the triple expansion steam engine. We are 69% there, 46 months away, depending on how much we can actually increase our tech budget. In fact, let's just bring that up just a little bit. Not much. There we go. Let's go take a look at that. Now we're down, now we're down to 37 months. Ship design. Let's go take a look at our new ships. We have two of them here. As you can see, we have the Stiletto class. We'll jump in here and take a look. I know I can do that from that other screen, but this is kind of gives a little bit better. We can kind of look around it here. This thing is a speed demon. Uh, I called it the Stiletto class uh, because it looks just like a Stiletto. It's got three smokestacks, giving you the engine efficiency of 115%, and it can move. It can do 25 knots. It is only equipped with a 4.9 inch gun, single barrel gun, and one torpedo tube, deck mounted. And that's really about it. It's 200 tons. If we look up here, uh, it's only 200 ton displacement, and it's really super cheap. So I made a bunch of these things, and there's our armament right there. Of course, the armor on this thing is none. I mean, tinfoil has better armor capabilities than this thing. So I'm quite impressed at that last. A torpedo boat did so well but so yeah this this boat though is designed to scream up on the enemy launch this torpedo and get the heck out of there and if we lose it it's not going to break the bank unfortunately that means that 11 crew members might lose their lives but it is war go ahead and exit i'm sure i could look at the other ship from that viewpoint all right and the other ship i want to take a look at here is the battleship washington class let's go ahead and view it so here we have that's angry at me for some reason uh, here we have the Washington class. Take a look at it here. It is a battleship. It displaces 12,366 tons at a cost of $53 million to build in 15 months, $1.7 million to maintain it per month, top speed of 15 knots. Armor, we have up to 13.8 inches of armor. It boasts two 10-inch guns. Uh, two by two, that's those double barrel guns down here that we see. 18 one by one, five inch guns. That's these guys on here. And they are peppered throughout the ship here. And we have four five inch guns and the casemates. That's the casemates? No, those, these are the other ones up here. So five inch guns, 10 inch guns. Uh, it also has the latest and greatest as far as our equipment goes. We have the um, coincidence range finder. Hopefully that'll help us actually hit targets. We also have uh, the gun cotton and we have a different uh, base fuse HE shells. We have a uh, different fuse type on the shells. Look, quick look at our armor. And yeah, this is the new Washington class battleship. All right, let's go take a look at our fleet really quick. So our fleet, we have it uh, sorted by type here. As you can see, every time I scroll, that little uh, other screen pops up, makes it kind of distracting, a little bit annoying. So I'm going to keep my mouse over here on this side. Just kind of follow along, maybe. We have uh, on the top here several of our uh, evil class battleships. We are, of course, building several of these Washington class battleships. Then we have a few of these Duluth class light cruisers, followed by several of the mobile class better uh, light cruisers. Those are those fast, cheaper ones. Then, of course, we are building several of these light cruisers for the Ottoman Empire and the Greeks. Follow that down by all of these stiletto, uh, stiletto class torpedo boats, and they are, are just kind of peppered all over the place. We have them almost everywhere. And, of course, no submarines yet. All right. So my plan here is to actually invade Cuba. That has been my plan all along. I did send this battleship into the Caribbean, uh, it was built down here in Cologne, and as soon as it was ready, I sent it out to try and up the tonnage here, and that's when it got we got jumped by that large Spanish fleet that came out of nowhere. I mean, if you look, there is no ships from Spain anywhere in the area. I have kicked them all out of the Caribbean that I can see. Uh, if we look at any of their harbors, there's no ships anywhere in any of their harbors, so I'm not sure. It just kind of appeared out of nowhere. It was kind of mind-boggling. 
So that is the story for now. It is June uh, 1893, and we need to, I guess, go the next turn. Wow, here's a big turn of events. The Spanish Empire has undergone a revolution. Unrest became uncontrollably high in the Spanish Empire, and the government has been overthrown. This guy, he was relieved from duty and expelled from the country. Apparently, Spain is taking care of their own. All right, we, but we are still at war with them. We have stumbled upon eight of their cruisers or uh, transport ships. We're going to go ahead and take them out. We'll have to auto-resolve that, of course. And we only get one. That seems to be the story. Uh, let's see. Syria signed a special trade agreement with us. All right. No peace yet. Denmark has canceled its alliance with the Spanish Empire. That's good for them. Border changes. All right. And we are back. Politics. Nothing should have changed. Yeah, there we go. Except we now have Syria. So yeah, we can expect them to start wanting to buy things from us. People do like us. That seems to be the a common trend. Take a look at our naval budget here. Now we're only down minus $1.5 million per month. So I'm going to actually up my crew training a little bit. We'll go to 75%. Get on 75. We'll leave everything else alone for now. Research, nothing's changed. Ship design, nothing's changed. Fleet, nothing has changed. World, how much do we have in here? Still the same. I would like to build more ships and get them down here, but all of our ports are now empty. Like I pulled every ship. Oh, here we go. Never mind. I didn't. We're going to move ships. There we go. Maybe that will set us over the top. We will have to probably wait a turn to find out. All right here, we got another battleship. We're going to send it in as well. I realize some of these got done built building. Oh, there we go. Send it down. We'll leave the torpedo boats there. Philadelphia, nothing. New York has got the South Dakota. You know, we're going to leave those there. We don't need that much more. So damage is only 5%. Now they are repairing. Uh, we do need more ammo, but 90% ammo is not bad. Of course, we got 100% fuel, and we are pretty close to our port. Apparently, we don't have to be in port. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, please do. To get resupplied with fuel and ammo, we don't need to actually be in port. Okay. Do we have any ships down here? No. We do on this side of Panama. Well, I thought, thought we did. Let's roll in here a little more. Yeah. So we have three ships on the other side of Panama uh, in Balboa. I didn't realize that the Panama Canal really wasn't open for business until about 1913. So we're a few years away from that. That's why... Uh, this cruiser got sent around South America. I just, it, he was in Balboa and I just clicked like over here. <laughs> you know, and he's like, bloop, all the way around. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> I guess you're going to go the long way. But uh, that's the only way. I believe, I don't know a lot about Panama, uh, but I believe there was like a an actual canal there for a while built like in the 1500s or something. But it wasn't big enough to accommodate any of our larger ships, especially at this time. So, all right. I don't think there's anything left to do this turn, so let's go ahead and hit the next turn button. We are winning. The Spanish government desperately asks us to sign a peace treaty. Should we accept? No, because they are still in the Caribbean, and we don't want them on our front door. But here we come across a couple more of these uh, transport ships across a massive fleet here. Let's fight it. I'll resolve it. And we get three this time. Woohoo. More than one. They, of course, lost two. So I don't know if that uh, means that they lost five or means they just lost two and it's a weird thing i'm not sure romania would like to order three of the stiletto class battle uh, torpedo boats it will pay 111 percent profit so that's a no-brainer yep we're gonna do that venezuela would like to order one of the evil class battleships at 81 percent that's a little bit low for me uh i mean granted we could use the money um but they're also so super expensive and they take forever so uh oh that's what i was going to talk about was the um, the export yachts. And that is where you build a ridiculously, or you design a ridiculously expensive uh, ship and you don't build it yourself. You build it for other people. And you can, when they will order it, uh, they'll pay top dollar for it. So the other bit of advice was actual mothballing of ships, which we will do. And of course we can then sell those mothballed ships to other countries at a discount, but still make some money, recoup some money. So I'm kind of on the fence about this one. Uh, 81% profit is pretty good. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just do it. 
Of course, Greece would like to do it for 56% profit. That's a no. Greece, I love you, but uh, that was a little bit too low of a profit margin for me. So politics, nothing's changed. Um, we are growing our fleet, but yeah, nothing's really changed. We have tons of money now. We're going to bump that up, our crew training, and we're going to bump up our budget, uh, uh, our tech budget here. That way we get a bunch of crew uh, and, and good training on those crewmen and get the technology rolling here. We got 13 months, 24 months on the engines and our destroyer design is still uh, kind of unknown. We have no idea what we're doing there. We're just building something and hope that it works and looks good. So and that's about it. Like there's nothing really else to look at. Ship design, nothing's changed. Fleet, we should have our Romanian uh, stilettos down here, perfect. And our cruisers are still being built. They got a bunch of time left on them. Here is the uh, battleships we're building for Venezuela. And, of course, the Ottoman Empire. Another one. One month and then they'll get that one. So there we go. There we have it. Let's go to the world. And we should have... Yes. We now have 110,000 tons of kick-ass in the Caribbean. And I want Cuba. So I believe the way we do this, we go to politics, go down here, and we can do a naval invasion. Now it's turned on. We'll do naval invasion. We're going to choose the Providence. We want Cuba. We have a strong presence of over 100,000 tons of warships in the vicinity. Should we commence an attack on in the next month? <laughs> yes, we should. All right. Finally, it's only taken a few years. So let's get our ships over there. We're going to move everything over there. Move this one too. This should be an easy victory. We are taking Cuba in the next turn. The press in various countries is fully supporting our war efforts. That is great news. We have friends to rely on. Uh-oh. The battleship Oregon has just run across a couple of trade ships. We're going to fight them. Auto resolve. Hey, we got two of them that time. Of course, they lost three. All right, Syria would like to order a bunch of these uh, stiletto class ones. They're so cheap at 59%. Yeah, let's do that. The United States mobilizes to launch a naval invasion against Spain in Providence, Cuba. The well, United States fleet is inside the attack zone. Troops are carried and land battle occurs near the shore. Yes. Serious incident. Costa Rica's new leader is currently considered a threat for the United States due to some recent mishaps in the shared borders. The tension between the two countries increase, increases dangerously and a major offensive is expected within the next month. Costa Rica, huh? They don't like us there. So here we go, the army lo losses from the Special Army Operations, the battle in Cuba. We lost 98 soldiers. They lost well over 1,000. That's kind of typical for our Marines. All right, click on that. Can I click on that? Chance to succeed, naval invasion. Yes. Move, do it. All the ships, all the ships. Estimated duration is one of five. Does that mean that it's going to take five months to take Cuba? All right, let's take a look at Costa Rica. Uh, oh, okay. Well. I didn't want to attack Costa Rica. looks like that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> um, so that's a thing. Like, I didn't have any issues with Costa Rica. So, but maybe uh, our, our commander-in-chief does. Um, just didn't inform its, his top admiral <laughs> that's in charge of, like, the entire U.S. Navy that he wanted to go to war with Costa Rica. <laughs> so just kind of out of the blue. Interesting. All right. I guess, well, let's take a look at our finances here. Uh, yeah, we're still way down. Research, not everything's still about the same. Nothing's really changed. Let us do next turn. All right. Task force attacks undefended port. We found a bunch of uh, trade ships in there. We're going to fight. Auto resolve. We got two of them. Yeah, of course, they lost three. Greece would like to order one of the Washington class battleships for 114%. Yes. Syria would like to order one. For 89% of the evil class battleship. Uh, let's do it. All right. United States loses 62 soldiers. They lost 1,020. There we go. Now, yep, we're at two of five turns. We are kicking their butts. That's good. All right. Let's take a look at politics. I don't think anything's really changed for us. Nope. Finances. We are now $12 million uh, per month in the hole. But as you can see here, our naval funds have jumped up considerably because we are building those awesome ships for other people. So that's great. That's our ship design, our fleet, I think we're pretty good. 
Uh, we could definitely stand to build a couple more ships for ourselves. I'm kind of waiting on the research so we can kind of get the latest and greatest. So I'm thinking actually we're going to bump up our tech budget. Oh, let's brought it up to 50%. There we go. Now we're negative 22 million in the hole uh, per month, but we have a quite the significant pool. We can stand to do that for a few months and then we might have to back down again. All right, next turn. There we got 10 more of their trade ships. We're gonna fight them. Auto resolve it. We got five of them. Woohoo. And of course they only lost three. I don't understand how that works at all. Siri would like to order three for 121. Yep, we're gonna do that. All right, we lost 70 people. They lost 858 people. So I'm not upset about that at all. I just don't know what this uh, major offensive, The we are attacking Costa Rica and we have a sizable force there, but yeah, I just don't, it's an overland battle. Like our army is doing that. So I don't, I'm not the commander of the army. I, I would support them if they needed help, but I'm not sure. Maybe we could split away a couple of these uh, these ships. We come down here and take on uh, Port Lemon, Limon, maybe. Let's see. What if we took, move, take the Arkansas, the Flint, and the Memphis down there? Just a show of force. Next turn. All right, we got more trade ships. We'll fight them. Auto resolve. We got four of them. Go. It actually matches. The Ottoman Empire would like two for 67%. I'm going to say no to that. Greece would like to order one of our evil class battleships for 86%. Okay. Okay. The Germans have provoked us. The United States losses 145 soldiers, mostly due to malaria. And Spain has lost 886 soldiers. Sorry. There we go. We are... Chance to succeed, 77%. I think it probably should be a lot higher than that, but I don't know. Well, there we are. Uh... I would like to like help out in some way. I don't think that's. Oh no no no! I don't want to do that. Uh oh, there we go. Set them back around, back around South America. That'd be bad. All right, let's do. I guess. Well, let's check finances really quick. Yeah, nothing's really changed. Research, nothing's changed. Whole protection's getting there. Oh look, destroyer design. Three months, and we get 500 ton torpedo boat. Nice. Get a little bit bigger torpedo boat coming right along with our engines. Anything else getting close? We have internal protection, 24 months. Mines, 20 months. That's about it. We got a bunch of ships that are being built. In fact, we got a couple of these uh, Washington-class battleships being commissioned uh, around our ports. So that's great news. Go back to the World tab. I think we only need one more turn, and we will own, own uh, Cuba. Elections in the nation of the United States. Center Party won again and retains the control of the government. Not sure who the Center Party is, but okay, we'll go with it. Fight, auto resolve. We took three of their transports, but only two. All right, the Ottoman Empire would like to order three of the mobile class light cruisers for 56 profit. That's a no. The United States gained control of Cuba. Nice. All right, Cuba is ours. Woohoo. Now, we in Guantanamo Bay. We're going after Guantanamo Bay. You know, we, we purchased Guantanamo Bay from the Cubans. Uh, and so maybe that's why they have it on here, but we own Cuba. So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're going to move over to this fleet over to San Juan. That way we get, uh, some, some support kind of over here, kind of, kind of looking out this way or they're not so far away in the Caribbean. All right. We're going to go after Gitmo, go to politics and go find the Spanish do a naval invasion, choose the province. We want Gitmo. Yes, didn't really read that. Finances, oh, we're, we're still okay. And we're not, we could be a lot worse. Research, two months on the hull protection now, two months on destroyer design, which we will design a new torpedo boat. Nothing else really of mind blowing going on. All right, next turn. Well, they're replacing people left and right in Spain. Got more of their ships here. Take them out, we got two of them. Okay, yep. We're going after Gitmo. We will move this entire fleet there. It's only going to take three turns. I wonder, can I can I do it twice? I think I could do both at the same time here. No, I cannot. All right. Finances, only negative six, well, seven million. We have a large pool of 201 million. We're going to be building some new ships and refitting some new ships here, I think, after this war. So we definitely want to uh, 
keep as much money as we can right now. There we have our fleet. We got lots of battleships, lots of evil class battleships, our Washington class battleships. Uh, we got Wilmington, Boston, Charleston, Pensacola, San Diego, and Tampa. We're building another one down here, building a couple of battleships for those countries, Venezuela, Greece, and Syria. We got a whole bunch of these uh, cruisers. Cruisers are pretty awesome. And then, of course, our stiletto class torpedo boats. World. Nothing is really going on much more here in the Caribbean. Pretty, pretty friendly with everybody else. Nothing major. Mind-blowing here. Uh, the Italians, still at 67% with them. Uh, of course, we're at war with Spain. China is still at 51%. And Germany is a little irritated with us, I guess. But we also have a lot of these allies and they're pretty much funding our war. All right, let's go into March. All right, we found 10 more of these um, transport ships. We're going to fight them. Auto resolve it. Yay, we got four of them. Okay, here is our new destroyer design. It's a torpedo boat up to 500 ton displacement. Woohoo. We also found the double bottom uh, hull design. This is going to help us with our resistance to torpedoes and flooding. So... Of course, it's going to cost a lot, it's going to weigh a lot, and it's going to add a little bit of construction time. Tensions increase with the Hungarians and the United States. I'm sorry. We lost two soldiers, they lost 30. And on goes the war. Chance to succeed, 100%. You know it. Then we'll go after Puerto Rico. We'll kick them out of Puerto Rico as well, and that will be ours. And I will actually ask for a peace treaty at that time. I don't need to conquer Spain at this time. But, ooh, oh, hello. You're sending reinforcements. Nice. I like your style, Spain. Hmm. Well, let's take our new Washington-class battleship. We'll move it down here. We'll take this battleship. Oh, that's already going down there. Oh, no, it's Battleship Washington. I'll leave those there. We'll take the South Dakota. That's an evil-class battleship. I just want to click on the ship itself. There we go, South Dakota. Feels like I'm being really repetitive when it comes to that control. We're going to move these two battleships down there as well. We will move the... And that's it. So when they get across the Atlantic, we should be arriving right about the same time. I didn't see how long it was to actually move them. Doesn't tell me. There we go. It'll be here in three turns. So, and they are heading there. It's probably at least two or three turns. So hopefully we'll get there right about the same time. A chance to meet them in battle. All right, next turn. Only five this time. Fight, auto resolve. We got one of them. All right, Greece would like to order a couple of the mobile class for 109. Sure, why not? Gitmo changes hands while it was attacked from many sides. The offensive had to stop. We lost 30. They lost 89. We have gained control of Gitmo. Woohoo. We're going to take our fleet now. We're going to move it over here. All the ships. Now when they get here, they're going to have one hell of a surprise. Of course, we are going after Puerto Rico. Let's go into our politics tab. We'll initiate that invasion right now of Gitmo. Or, excuse me, of Puerto Rico. Yes, world. Let's take a look at our finances really quick. Oh, yeah, we're doing really well. Let's up our tech budget here quite a bit. Let's, yeah, about like that. We're negative 20 million, but we have a sizable pool. We keep selling those ships and they're paying for them up front. So whole protection, we could take our priority off of there and we can take it off of the design there. Let's put it onto the internal protect protection, put one there and maneuver warfare. Yep, we're gonna do that. All right, our fleet, we're building a bunch more ships now and but nothing's really changed. Next turn, we have more enemies lurking for a chance to enter the war against us as it seems to seems the press in their countries is 100% against us. Wow, we went from being really awesome with everybody to uh, not being so great with everybody. Spain is accusing our country for war crimes. The prime minister is ask, asking your opinion on how to react. You know, president, military forces of Spain themselves violate human rights and conduct war in prohibited ways. We offer an amount to help in the investigations and punish those actions. Or we can say victims among civilians are inevitable during war. This way, it's gonna we're going to pay for it. That's going to be $30 million of, out of our naval funds. But we increase our relationship with Spain, and we gain a little bit of naval prestige. Or we can lose some naval prestige and lose some naval unrest. But you know what? 
our unrest right now is right at zero. Uh, our naval prestige is 109. I think we can afford to lose a little bit. I don't want to spend the money. All right, we're going to kill nine. We're going to go to war with nine of them. And then we got two of them. Nice. Fleet superiority. The United States mobilizes to launch a naval invasion against Spain and Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Border change. Yay. 103. We killed almost 600 of them. All right. How long is that going to take? Three turns. They should probably turn around. They don't know what's coming. All right. Let's take a look at our finances here. We're doing really well with our finances. We're going to bump that up to 80. We're not going to really go above 80. Research. We got one month on the engines, one month on the internals uh, protection. That's the basic crew medical treatment researching. Awesome. Maneuver warfare, one month on here as well. Fantastic. Fleet, not much more going on. Got any ships coming up? No, not really. Three months on that one, but it's being sold. Perfect world. Let's just go next turn. Right, here we got more ships. Auto resolve it. We get two of them. New technology. We got those new engines. Get a little bit of better fuel capacity. And uh, let's see. We get some cruising speed. A little bit better fuel uh, efficiency there. And 26 more horsepower per engine ton. So that's great. Better engines. Basic crew medical treatment. There we go. Naval bombardment tax tactics. Plus 15 to the bombardment. They lost two transport ships. Syria would like to order three of the stiletto class torpedo boats. At 88%. They're so cheap. What? Why not? There we got the... 126 U.S. losses to a 1,200 of the Spanish losses. Spain's not doing so well on the ground there. And here we go. Here is that Spanish fleet coming in to the Caribbean. We are we we will be denying them if we can. Take a look at our finances yet again. Research. Let's pull that priority out of engines. We'll pull that priority out of internals protection, and pull that priority out of maneuver warfare. Let's see, I'm not seeing anything else that's getting close. You know, I would like to actually get a little bit more technology into our fire control. So I'm gonna dump one there and we'll do mines. We'll put one in mines. I didn't see that before. You know, let's do gun layout. Put one in there as well, just for fun. I don't really see anything else that, I, that would be a good, like aha thing to put it in there. So we're at 21% there and yeah, we'll see what that looks like. Ship designs, nothing's changed. Fleet, again, nothing has changed. We are making ships and selling them for massive profits. So that's great news there. We do want to build up that pool of money because this war will come to an end probably here in another turn or two. Next turn. All right, we have some more of their trade ships going up against our massive fleet here. We're going to fight them, auto-resolve it. We got three of them. They lost five. Uh, we lost two, actually. United States gained control of Puerto Rico. We now own the Caribbean from Spain. I'm not happy yet, though, because that fleet right there just snuck past us. And we are going to engage them. Not with that fleet. We're going to take our bigger fleet here. Can. There we go. We'll move this fleet in to intercept them. I was going to sue for peace, but I can't have that ship in the Caribbean, that fleet in the Caribbean. It's kind of one of those things like if we did get peace right now, uh, then it's no big deal, right? We, they won't be our enemy anymore. But they just sunk two of our trade ships and they snuck past us. I can't handle that. So we're going to go after them. Take a look at our politics tab really quick. Uh, we, we can do the naval uh, peace treaty there. Scroll up to where we are at. We now have 53 ships, 17 of which are battleships, 21 light cruisers and 15 torpedo boats. GDP is $23 billion. We're pretty happy with the English and the French. Germany, not so much. Russians, of course, we are happy with them. Italians, they might be our next enemy. We'll see, they keep poking us. Same with the uh, Austro-Hungarians there. Japan is kind of neutral with us. Spain, of course, hates our guts. And so does China. We, of course, have a lot of allies. Finances, we're doing really well with. Research, we should be getting pretty close to dit in the mines. There we go. And the other things, we're just kind of control station. Here we go. That's great. Three months to go on there. Ship design, nothing new. Fleet, again, nothing new. World, let's go next turn. 
The war continues after f the failed negotiations between the United States and Spain. I did not ask for peace, uh, and neither did they. So early contact mines, naval mines contain high explosive that can that can detonate upon impact is a cheap but very effective method to destroy enemy ships. These first mines can be carried by destroyers or light cruisers, and I'm not a big fan of them, but uh, not not my thing here. Uh, Greece would like to order one Washington class battleship, 93 uh, percent profit for us. That's going to help us out. Sure, why not? And I don't see what happened to that Spanish fleet. They probably went into some port somewhere hiding from us. That's fine. We will move our large fleet to Havana. There we go. Now we have a fleet here in Puerto Rico. We got one down here in Panama, and we will have a, the massive fleet here in Havana. And we were going to ask Spain for peace. Let's see here. Let's take a look at our politics and grab my little slider here. Of course, we got the British Empire on top, followed by France. We're about halfway down. No real change in anything. Let's scroll down to Spain and ask for peace. There we go. Finances. We got $287 million with negative 21 in the hole every turn. We're about to discover a new control system, which is the advanced towers. Perfect. That's going to be great. We're going to design a new ship here real soon. And of course, when we get our ships back into some sort of port, we might be mothballing some of them. Next turn. The Ottoman Empire would like to order one of the evil class battleships at 114% profit to us. Yes, we will do that. Syria would like one at 105. Sure, why not? Conquer Costa Rica of Costa Rica has been conquered by the United States. Uh, so the United States Army actually took Costa Rica. That's great. No peace yet. Your intervention intervention has no effect on peace negotiations with Spain. Got five naval prestige. We are still at war with Spain. Okay. That must be that large fleet. No, that's just a single cruiser. I thought maybe Spain was bugging out, but that is not the case. If we are still at war, we will not be mothballing anything. But I am ready for peace. I think peace would be a, a, a good thing here with the Spanish Empire. Looks like they are mobilizing a rather large fleet over here, though they have had several ships in this area for a while. Nothing major, though. I mean, I think we we'll go to the politics tab. They only they have 30 ships. They they only have eight heavy cruisers. That's their best ship. So they're not doing so well. And we are. We're, we're doing quite well. So... We have several battleships, several cruisers, lots of other lighter ships. We can go toe to toe with any world power at this point. So, but I also want peace. Let's ask for peace yet again. Can't fine. We will have to just wait them out. I'm not going to go seeking anything, but I will definitely defend the Caribbean from the Spanish at this point. And uh, yeah, it's nice to know that we have. This uh, Costa Rica is now ours down here as well. Wasn't kind of expecting that, but I'm not complaining too much either. We didn't have to do anything for it. Didn't hurt the Navy at all. So I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, please remember to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And also, please, if you see something, if you know something, a little tip or trick or anything like that involved with this game, I am all ears. Uh, there's a lot to this game, and I'm still learning as I'm growing. It's a bucket of fun. I am enjoying this game more than you can possibly imagine, more than is coming through in the episodes. I, I've been playing this game quite a bit, and I really do enjoy it. So if you have any tips, tricks, comments, anything like that, please drop them in the comments below. Hit me up on Discord, and I hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.